can fully kind of drop into restfulness here, into the practice of yoga nidra. And just adjusting that head pillow so it's kind of supporting the back of the head, but there's no weird lumps or bumps kind of under the neck. So welcoming ourselves into the practice of your mudra. Finding a nice position for the arms, maybe down the sides of the body with the palms facing the sky or hands to the belly, one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. And then maybe taking a deeper breath and ah, letting out a little sigh for a heavier exhalation. Hmm. ourselves into the practice of yoga nidra, the practice of being here now exactly as you are, nothing to do, nowhere to be, just to be here is enough. to the sounds, into the feeling, to the sensations arising in the body. And just beginning by bringing the attention onto the movement of the breath, feeling the breath moving within the body, and inviting for each breath, particularly the exhalation, to be a settling breath to support with settling the whole weight of the body down into the earth beneath you. So feeling the arms, the legs becoming heavy, the backs of the shoulders, the back of the head, softening into the floor beneath you. And every inhalation, sensing into the lightness of the open expanse of space around you. Giving yourself permission to be fully here right now. Each breath, the body becomes more and more received by the earth beneath you. Each breath is a settling, it invites the body to settle, it invites the jaw to soften between the eyebrows, the belly softening.
attention to the sound of the breath moving. <clears throat> and then listening in for faraway sounds. Sounds coming from outside of the room that we're in, distant sounds. Not needing to grasp at them, just knowing that they're there. Just allowing them to kind of float through the awareness. And then listening in for sounds a little bit closer. The sound of my voice, the sounds within the room. Maybe the sound of a neighbor breathing. And then listening into the sound closest to you, the sound of your own breath. Hearing the breath and sensing it moving within you. And sensing into the exhalation. And starting to invite in a little hum on the exhale. Humming on the exhalation. So that this humming can help support the feeling of the body settling into the earth.
Sending the awareness down into the space of the heart, at the center of the chest, and behind the breastbones, feeling the breath moving here. Breath traveling in, down through the heart space, all the way into the belly, and breath traveling out. Tuning into your heart, your full heart. And listening in to see if there's an intention here that wants to be felt. Which could be something very clear and specific. Or if there's nothing specific, then just resting in a place of receptivity. And trusting the wisdom of the heart to come through in the right moment with clarity. These seeds being planted in the quiet, fertile soil of Yoga Nidra. And from here they can manifest in our life. Inquiring into what is arising here, what wants to be felt. How does it feel to listen in to the space of the heart? Feeling the body resting on the floor, on the earth beneath you. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you. And then inviting your mind's awareness to take the form of a soft, bright, shining light. And feeling this light traveling up to the crown of the head the space at the very top of the head, illuminated by a soft, bright, shining light. And inviting for this light to travel freely around the body whilst the body stays still, the mind, the light of the mind's awareness travels freely each spot that's named, bringing a sense of softening. So the light of your awareness traveling down to the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows. And then soft white light shining onto the right eyelid, the left eyelid, both eyelids together. And then onto the right cheekbone, the left cheekbone, both cheekbones together. Into the hollow of the right cheek, the left cheek, both cheeks together. And then down along the whole jaw. 
the tip of the tongue. And the tip of the nose. And then onto the right ear, the left ear, both ears together. And then this soft light travels down to the space at the base of the throat in between the two collarbones. Soft white light shining into the space at the base of the collarbones. And then into the space in between the collarbones, like a little pocket of sunshine. And then shining onto the right shoulder blade the left shoulder blade, both shoulder blades together. And then shining into the right shoulder, right upper arm, the elbow, right forearm, wrist, palm of the right hand, soft light shining into the palm of the right hand, and then into the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky. And then light shining back into the palm of the right hand, into the right wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and the right shoulder. And then this light of your awareness travels over to the left shoulder, into the left upper arm, the elbow, left forearm, left wrist, into the palm of the left hand, and then the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky. And then soft light shining back into the palm of the left hand, the left wrist, the forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder. Both shoulder blades shining together. Soft light shining into the space at the middle of the upper back to the center of the back and the lower back. And then this light travels into the front of the chest, shining into the two collarbones, and then shining into the heart space, the center of the heart. Warm light illuminating here. And then shining down into the belly center. Everything here, softening, relaxing. Working in perfect order. And then shining into the right hip, the right upper thigh, the knee, the right calf, the ankle, the heel of the right foot, the sole of the right foot, and then shining into each of the right toes, starting with the right big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, and the fifth toe. And then this light shining back into the sole of the right foot, ankle of the right foot, the calf, the knee, thigh and into the right hip and then this light travels over into the left hip illuminating into the left thigh the knee the calf ankle heel of the left foot sole of the left foot and then shining into each of the left toes starting with the left big toe the second toe the third toe, fourth toe, and the fifth toe. And then this light shining into the sole of the left foot, the heel of the left foot, ankle, calf, the knee, thigh, and the hip. The whole of the left leg, the whole of the right leg, illuminated with the light of your awareness. Hold the right arm, hold the left arm, illuminated with the light of your awareness. The collarbones, the space in between the collarbones. The heart.
heart center, the belly center. center in the crown of the head. So the whole body shining with this warmth, like a soft, bright, shining light illuminating from within, all the way from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes, and from the tips of the toes to the crown of the head. Body illuminated, whole body resting, being here now exactly as you are. Feeling the weight of the body resting down onto the earth beneath you. With every exhalation, Inviting in a sensation of heaviness. Sensing into a feeling of heaviness such that the body drops down into the earth on each exhalation. Sensing into a feeling of lightness, heaviness on the exhale, lightness on the inhalation. And then releasing the alternation and inviting both to be held in your awareness at the same time together, becoming aware of a feeling of heaviness and lightness at the same time together. And then releasing this, returning again to the feeling of the body resting on the floor. And on the exhale, sensing into the physicality of the body, the physical boundary of where the skin defines the outside of the body. And then on the inhalation, sensing into the space beyond this. Exhaling into the physical boundary of the body. Inhaling into the vast spaciousness beyond that boundary. And releasing the alternation and inviting both to be held in your awareness at the same time together. to sense into each breath, noticing the passing of the exhalation, and counting each breath out, starting at number nine and counting down to zero, counting each breath on the exhalation, starting with nine and going down to zero, and if you lose count, that's okay, you can return to number nine again. The purpose is just to keep the awareness on each breath. Noticing the passing of each breath from nine to zero.
of the breath. And finding ourselves in a peaceful, natural environment, maybe in a forest or at the water's edge on a beautiful beach. And looking down and seeing our bare feet standing on the ground, feeling the energy of the earth coming up into our being through our feet. Like you could feel the pulse of the earth's core through your feet. And then looking up and feeling the warm light of the sun shining down. And the brightness of the sky coming down through the crown of the head. And as the energy from the earth comes up through the feet, and the brightness of the sky comes down through the crown of the head, these two meet in the heart center. And find perfect balance and harmony here. Knowing that this earth energy and sky energy can always be connected to and found within. They're always coming into this harmonizing connection in the center of us. In every moment. And then beginning again to feel the movement of the breath. Sensing the breath moving here in our heart space. And listening in again if the intention wants to be heard again, a message from within, from yourself and for yourself, which could come through as a feeling or a sight or a sound. And again, if not, then resting in a space of receptivity and stillness.
feeling the breath moving and sensing the body resting on the earth, supported by the earth and releasing into the earth beneath you. As we begin to come towards the end of the practice of Yoga Nidra, knowing that this restfulness and inner connection of the practice comes out with us into our everyday life. waking breath, bringing a sense of vitality, nourishment, Taking your time, moving nice and slow, but whenever you're ready, you can start to integrate little movements, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe taking a long stretch and a yawn of the arms up and on the floor behind you. Ah, reaching the right arm so it's longer. And then reaching out the left, stretching out through the sides of the body, both arms reaching together. So the practice of yoga nidra is now complete, so you can take your time. You're welcome to stay here, just lying flat and just kind of bringing in these little movements. And then whenever you're feeling ready, you can roll over onto one side. Come to see this.